guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 11 of I've Been Killing Slimes for 300 Years and max out my ability. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. A mushroom killing party? So we eating nothing but mushrooms. Okay. I mean, you know, I'm not one for mushrooms like that. You gotta add some seasoning? Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, it's almost like a meat substitute. You know, Halkata, what else you grow in your room? I mean, you grow on mushrooms, it wouldn't be surprising if you did what you were doing something else. Excuse me? Hey, you okay? Is she baby? Hmm. Alcado, once again. I, well, you know, you know what? You know, you didn't fuck it up this week. Yeah, actually, you know, you did something smart and cute. <laughs> I mean, you just got chippy. <laughs> well, you know, at least she's not the German, the chippy Jeremy Lolly that we all know and love. Thank God that officially got a season two announcement today. So, yay! <laughs> she ran like fucking Scooby Doo, Lord. Yeah, like a. Yeah, because I mean, you are cute. Look at you, you baby.
true. <laughs> it made all three of them sleepy. <laughs> of course, we gotta take the time to enjoy this. You baby this week. Who knows what the hell is going to happen next week? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if only they did this in like a pretty cure episode for healing good. We could have had baby Natoka Awayuki. <laughs> Oh my god. You guys were really fighting over petting. Can you help? Oh. Yeah. You can't do it. You can bite yourself. Some. Huh. Well, maybe you should. Oh, my God. So what actually can, well she can but I I mean we only have one hour episode left before the show is over. So by next week she needs to be an adult again. Oh of course. I mean damn you should have made everybody come. Oh my god, the pudding. Oh. <laughs> I'm both of like, yes, this is the <laughs> crazy girl. Oh my god. Oh, too late. All I, all I straight up here is just one pretty cure, you know, fangirling about another pretty cure. That's all. Is it weird that that tree looks like the tree in Genshin? Very similar. Also, I think that's the only time I'll probably be talking about Genshin.
Oh, poor Bill, what you wanted to go to. <laughs> no, stay here. You need to be safe. Mm hmm. Good. Do not tempt me with sweets. I literally just ate. Well, damn, I thought you guys were going to have to walk. I, I, this world tree is basically just a gift shop and an attraction. Okay. <laughs> Five buttons. <laughs> oh, are we really about to go on every floor? Oh, that's crazy. Probably. What? Oh my god, damn. So y'all had to have money not only for food. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> y'all had to have money for everything. You had for, for an elevator fare. Jesus Christ. Do we got stairs? But damn, they really got everything here. Imagine if this was a family trip. Whoa, well, I can't even. I can't even imagine them prices. <laughs> What the, a, a fucking desert?
I don't know why, but this is just giving me straight up to like feels of Don Machi of going on almost every floor. <laughs> Poor baby. Every kid does that. I, I know, because the journey you guys have had together. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, what the? Yeah. We couldn't just go to Enno's place and straight up ask. So we seriously wasted this trip for nothing.
my god, press baby. He's just a horny little thing. I mean, damn. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is a cute episode, honestly. I love the fact that, you know, number one... Azusa was baby Azusa this week. That was so fucking cute. Like, thank you. Even, like, with the fact is that they had to tweak Aoyuki's voice to make her have, like, this cute, adorable, like, cutesy, toddler-ish voice was adorable as fuck. Like, oh my god. Mm. <laughs> it's just so, like, cute. Oh my god. Like, almost when you wanted to cry. How I did this morning when I watched My Hero and crying over freaking Eddie. <laughs> in a fucking Santa Claus outfit like oh my god precious baby girl but um bruh that trip <laughs> I cannot imagine if everybody and I do mean everybody went on this trip and they had to pay fare after fare after fare I mean oh god like that just remind me of like you know when you go on a trip to Disney with your family and you don't know how much it's going to be. Like, let's say you have a family of six. And, and, and let's say you don't live in Florida. As like as me, as someone who lives in Florida, I get a discount. That discount ain't a lot. But um, it's a little bit better than how much a lot of people have to pay. Because I think I had a conversation with one of my friends who recently, like, before uh, Corona and pandemic and shit... Um, went to Disney, like flew from, um, from somewhere here in America all the way down to Florida and then also went to Disney and a typical like trip. Oh God. Woo. Jesus. I gotta think about that real quick. It's like, I think two fifty. um, I think per person. So, uh, but she went with her family and her family is big and, and it's just like, oh my God. Just imagine if you have a, a family of like six or seven kids. Think think about the John, Kate, plus eight, or like the six, six tuplets, or any, like, just imagine how much them prices are going to be per child. Like, you are probably into the thousands. Fucking thousands. Just to go to fucking Disney, Six Flags, Universal, anywhere. I, I can't imagine that, bruh. Like, uh-uh. Oh, God. <laughs> sometimes I love being a Florida resident, and sometimes I don't. I mean, because I, I can't imagine if, like, because, like I said, for us, it is, and it also depended on, like, where I got tickets and such. But, like, oh, God. Like, when I saw she added up the fares for, like, coming in and then the elevator in it, and I was like, oh, God, that's a lot of money. I was like, convert that to American? That's probably a lot of fucking money. I mean, now, if it was, like, maybe yen. Probably not as much as U.S. dollars, but still would be a lot. But, like, holy shit. But, yeah, the trip was worth it. I mean, if they knew that they could just come in by Dragon, yes, Laika, and everybody else could all came on this trip, and it would have been a very short episode. But, no. We had to get cute little moments with, like, this journey and little vacay for them. So, it was adorable. But, other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 11 of I've Been Killing Slimes for 300 Years. And max out my level. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys, unfortunately, not next Saturday. Because, as I said, earlier today and... or Well, yeah, earlier today twice and yesterday, I will be gone. I will be on my little mini vacay um, from Friday to Sunday. So, I will not be here to record the last episodes of these. I will be back Sunday, maybe evening, Sunday night. I'm not really 100% sure yet, but I believe that 
anything that came out from Friday to today will either come out Sunday when I get home or the following morning, aka Monday, maybe a couple of hours before Fruits Basket comes out. But until then, I will see you guys all next time for the final episode. Bye, guys.